so bright today. I have my stuff drying. I'm gonna pull it out and see if it's ready to trim. those two covered boards of work. I'm gonna try and throw maybe like 
10 more pieces. Tomorrow I'm gonna have a big handling day. Number one studio tip, always have snacks in your studio because you're gonna randomly get hungry and not wanna leave. At some point I need to tackle the corner that is a mess <laughs> that you can't see because it's off camera. Bunch of customs are done, just the mugs I gotta finish. Getting stuff ready for the market coming up in like three weeks. I still have some time, but I'm firing two weeks, just under two weeks. So I have a lot of throwing to do. I went to a birthday party last night. It was so fun. It was like a little picnic in the park for my friend Brooke. You might remember seeing her birthday celebration last year. It was in this vlog. Also very cute, also very wholesome. Sorry, my, my thought process is so chaotic right now, but my monster is putting out a new leaf and it hasn't put out a new leaf in maybe, I wanna say like two years, which is kind of insane, but I'll show you. How do you guys feel about newsletters? I am signed up for a few newsletters that I really enjoy, just kind of seeing what people are up to and what they're interested in, recommendations for books, podcasts, all that stuff. My most recent newsletter that went out was kind of like a summer, a summer roundup of my current favorite things, what I was up to, what I had coming up next. I think I included a link to my latest vlog. My intention is, I think, to kind of use it as a space to catch up with people because Instagram is just not what it used to be and it feels a little more personal that way and I enjoy that style of newsletter rather than it just being purely salesy like, hey, shop update, that's it. But I don't know, maybe people aren't interested in having like a lengthier, chattier newsletter from a business. That's where it's like such a weird, weird line because yeah, I'm a business, but I'm also primarily an artist and a person. <laughs> but I would love to hear what you think about that. I personally like it. I like feeling like I'm connecting with someone, the person behind the work. If you're not signed up for my newsletter already, I will leave a link below, so. If you feel like checking it out, you can. I think I can also leave a link below for you to go check out the most recent one. Okay, last note before I go trim is that I'm loving, I'm loving the background now. It looks so much better. I think I might have already said that, but I'm just really stoked. Okay, let's go trim. Oh.